Hi, welcome to another chat with the chaplain. As you can see, I'm in school today and it's great to be here. The theme for this half term in terms of our value is friendship. Really vitally important, especially in these strange socially distanced days, as you can see from the way the chairs are set out here in the hall. A number of years ago, a competition was run in a national newspaper asking for people to give the definition of true friendship. Lots of answers were given, but the winning answer was this. A real friend walks in when the whole world has walked out. A real friend walks in when the whole world has walked out. For many of us, of us it feels in these strange times that our friendships are really strained. They seem as distant as these chairs in the hall. It reminds me that to have a real friendship, there needs to be connection. Yes, we can do certain things electronically and virtually, but real friendship is about being connected with one another. It reminds me too that the Bible tells us what real friendship's all about. It's about a God who left heaven, came to earth in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ to rebuild broken friendships, those who've been not socially distanced, but eternally distanced, because of our rebellion against God. He came, he entered our world, he took on our pain, he took on our sadness. He himself experienced real separation to make sure that there does not need to be any separation between us and the God who loves us. This friend, this Jesus, gave his life. What more can somebody do as a friend? What greater sacrifice can there be than someone should lay down his life for his friends and even for those who were his enemies? Jesus was the real friend who walked into our world when everybody else seemed to have walked out. Jesus is the friend who will walk into your life and mine if we'll invite him to be a friend who, according to the Bible, sticks closer than any other family member we could have here on earth. Be a great friend to those around about you, even in these strange circumstances. But above all, make sure you're a friend with God. Accept his offer of friendship to you in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't just talk about friendship. Be a friend. No friendship. And remember that when it feels like everybody else may have walked out of your life and left you alone, that's just the time that Jesus offers to walk in and be with you forever. God bless you, hope to see you soon.